this uh, load up, loading up time. It's Saturday, 26th of November, and uh, <clears throat> just getting the bike, or going to attempt to get the bike in the van, ready to head to France. My dad's due to arrive shortly, and he's going to accompany me for the journey. Um, but I just give you a little look around. I've had a bit of a nightmare. The courier hasn't turned up with the graphics, so. I can't wait for them. I've got to, um, I'm going to have to do that in Saudi on the other side. I get the the race number stickers at Scrutineering on Monday at, uh, in France, so I can have them at least, but uh, that's the problem really with doing things last minute and rushing and trying to get things as, as good as I could. But um, you'll see actually here, I've put a temporary, I've nicked the front wheel out of uh, Arthur's, my son's um, little BMX rocker thing and um, <laughs> just used a bit of, bit of bar to um, lower the front so that hopefully it will fit in there so that's um, that's the that's the plan where we're at, at the moment um, yeah and then tires kit everything else so I've got a tick list to work through and um, I should be good for space I've got a whole back of the van to fill so we should be good and uh, Try not to forget anything. This is Paul Ricard circuit where we've done the administration, signing on, like a pre-scrutineering and miraculously, I say, I mean I've put a lot of thought into it, but everything's gone actually better than I expected. Paperwork's all done. I, I, yeah, I'm surprised, a little shocked actually, but, uh, uh, and bike scrutiny, technical stuff is all passed and I'm just now loading up my what will be my life for two weeks um, in the desert into uh, the Mali, the red box there with my toolbox uh, and then just arranging these tyres which um, will go with uh, I've paid another team, a French team, Nomad Racing they will carry some of my uh, spare tyres for me throughout the rally and I can get them um, as and when I need them to swap and so on so that's it, yeah, nearly you'll be leaving probably here in 10 minutes the bike's on the, on the crate done and that's it it's pretty big kind of weight off the shoulders actually to have this part done and then it's uh that's almost i don't know it's, it's going to be i don't know i just feel much better having um got this bit out of the way the administration side is pretty stressful so pleased good start so far and next stop uh is saudi and um Ready for, for the rally. Right, this is this is it. This is the start of the journey. I'm at uh, Heathrow Terminal for Holiday Inn. Uh, it's 5.40 in the morning and uh, I'm just having my last, my last sort of, I'm not sure what the food there is going to be like, so I'm having a coffee with scrambled eggs, some pork, pork sausages and some HP, brown HP sauce, so this is, uh, it's all getting a bit, a bit real now. But um, I've got a flight, a flight now today to Bahrain, and then an, uh, a night in a night in Bahrain, and and then tomorrow uh, a bus journey, and then another internal flight from uh, one side of Saudi to the other. And tomorrow I see my bike, and I'll be in the, in the Dakar paddock bivouac for the for my, my first ever. Um, yeah, I, it's all surreal, very surreal, but becoming more real now. And uh, a lot of emotions really. It's, um, I don't feel very nervous. I think it's just a lot of the unknown, although I, I have a, an idea of what happens in a rally. It's just the whole, the whole Dakar thing's quite intimidating. So it's a massive, massive task, what's ahead. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. But I'm here, Billy No Mates, on my own in 
the Holiday Inn last bit of festivities. Just me and a Christmas tree having some food and um, start, the, start the journey. Second, sorry, I'm so tired right now. I slept shit. I really wanted to try and sleep good. It's the last, my last, from now on, I've got two weeks. Um, in a tent, so I was like, trying to really make the best of the bed and the shower and like, and I, I stupid, I should have, uh, I don't know, just brain was overload of thinking of things to do on the bike and just that normal sort of thinking and worrying of things that I haven't got control over, so didn't sleep very well at all. But, um, hopefully means I'll sleep good tonight, albeit in a tent on a camp bed, but I need to get used to that, so. Uh, yeah, that's it. In about eight hours time, I should be at the bike, hopefully, and um, can crack on a bit and settle in. But I'll, uh, I'll keep updated. I've got to get on a bus, another plane, and then probably another bus or taxi to the paddock or bivouac in the rally world. Well, I made it to Yambu, uh, and the, what I thought would be the simplest stage of the journey is actually not. I'm there's two there's loads more buses back down there, and um, no one seems to know what's going on. Some are going to the port to get vehicles. Some are supposed to be going to the bivouac, which is what I need, but. Uh, I, I don't know, could take a while to figure this out. So, um, oh, yeah, so we're nearly there though. Nearly there, nearly at the bivouac, and then uh, I see my bike, and then it begins, I suppose. But I need to get over this little hurdle. Sun's out anyway, so we'll see. Nearly there. Well, I've made it. Just dragging my. Uh, I've got to practice, get used to uh, keep myself in the frame. But uh, holy shit, what a day! That's like over 12 hours, and most, uh, well, I say most, a good chunk of that was sat on a, on a bus that wasn't moving. It's bad enough sitting on a bus that is moving. But, uh, geez. So now priority is to find the bikes or find where my bike is, uh, set my tent up. I'm gonna get some dinner, assess the situation, but priority is a good sleep tonight. I've got some sleeping tablets, some decent earplugs and uh, checking out for a, um, try and get a good kit start the start the rally strong I don't want to start the rally tired because it's just gonna, I'm just gonna get more and more tired so Where you uh, anyway all new to me big paddock loads of trucks massive massive in infrastructure that they've uh, put on here but for sure uh, starting to get a bit of a vibe and a feel for it so right first day first night in uh bivouac billy billy no mates look i'm sure i'll um it's kind of nice not knowing many people to be honest but i don't know what I've, this is some sort of paella or bread roll and part i don't know what that is and some sort of soup actually but uh, yeah that's it that's the 
first night and now uh, I'm eating this and going to bed on a productive day tomorrow. Might even go out for a few laps and uh, run, run the bike a bit. I've just got to get everything else done first and then uh, see where we're at. But basically got two days off for prep and uh, to be ready for the prologue on Saturday. That right now is Wednesday, I think. So that's us. So this is the two Motul trucks here, which carry all the original Motul riders kit and uh, and the bikes are between the on the other side of these trucks. And then I've just been handed my um, if we can see here. Well, I've got my sleeping bag, foam mat, mattress, <laughs> and uh, a tent. So I've got my race number on there, and this is uh, pick some flattish ground. It's actually quieter than I imagined at the moment, but uh, so that's it. That's me. I've got to go get my bike from like another compound and bring that over. I'm not touching that tonight. I'm just going to put it in place and uh, get this bed and tent set, and uh, that's it. This is this is it. We're here. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be smiling this much. I think my smile will uh, reduce maybe as the week goes on and I get sick of this, but it's pretty, it's quite exciting, I think, at the moment. Pretty exciting what uh, being somewhere new, new people I don't really know, which is probably a, a bit uncomfortable, but also nice uh, just to, to meet, meet new people and uh, learn new stuff, I suppose. So, yeah. I can't remember the last time I put a tent up or slept on the floor on a mat, on a rubber mat in a sleeping bag. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on with it.